what we're looking for is the posture. Okay? It's the edge we in terms of the position where you can't see an angle standing up. Okay? So again, what I'm looking for is okay, that when we come in to there, we're looking for balance in terms of there, so we're going to turn when we break partner. So we'll be coming in in this position here, set, okay, as opposed to turning in, okay, it's starting to go that way. But what I'm looking for is posture on the turn. So from here, start to lift. Rock balance, start to drop in this position, start to turn. Here, lifting, coming in, and then start to turn to drive, drive through. Here, that's the action that I'm looking for. So I'm getting through here, posture. Okay? So when we turn, we're not on balance, not coming in that position, we're coming in. Slightly varied, and then we start to turn there. What we're looking for is that posture. Okay? Being able to come in, so we're sitting if the bottom pulls us, we're strong from there because we're sitting there and we're not collapsing in that position or from here, or we're rotating as yet. We're looking for that entry point, a breaking part of the balance from there. Yeah? Okay, from here, okay, find a space, let's try that. Now, I'm assuming when you pull the partner here, you must break the partner's balance first. None of you broke the partner's balance at all. You just turn it in, go like that, and then do it now. So, from here, you pull the partner to you. Then once you come here, you slip your arm in here. Now once you it's fast hips, and from here, up. And then you throw the partner. There shouldn't be no that. The throw comes from your hands. So if I was going to chop a tree, I'd chop a tree like that. I wouldn't chop a tree like that. So you think of the action of hip on scene as what you're trying to do. You're here, and you're trying to throw your partner. Now the shortest route is there, what well, half of you doing is that. So you're never going to throw the partner. You maybe get somebody where you maybe roll over and catch somebody. But when you're looking to throw, you know, here, here, and then you're looking to throw, is there? There? Sorry, I know, so I'll get carried away, so. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> do, do you see the difference? Because it's the power in my arms, what does the throw? It's nothing about me going like that. One time here, I'm saying, Throw the person, and you throw them. You want, you want me to do it again? No, I, yeah, because he's telling me to throw it like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wanted to crash that? All right, okay. <laughs> right, so, try, try and get to break the partner's back. When you're here, you've got to pull the partner to you. Then once you pull, put it on his toes, lock up, and then it's all about your hips, fast hips, bend, and then from here, You've got to pick the partner. Once you've done here, for me the throw's finished. Because now I'm throwing him there. That's how I think I've been taught how you do in front of the So there's different variations, but when I was taught here, I was taught by one of the best coaches in the world. I think it was Nakanishi. And he taught me that and ever since that. That's how I teach. So I don't go and do that. I hate it. Because when you look at it, you're not throwing anybody, just looking at the floor. So really, if it was in the context, that's what you do. You're not throwing the partner. You're not even attempting to throw the partner. You're just a flop. <coughs> but if you're attempting to throw the partner, yeah. Throw the partner, sorry. Well, you're going to throw them. It isn't playing around when you hit. You throw, that's it. So, when you're here, it's supposed to be rotation and going that direction. Okay, so, go back with your partners and right. like, think here. Okay, go to the first phase of going in, lifting. Instead of bending, 
Turn, turn. Okay. Think of chopping a tree. So when you're here, chop, throw the pot. None of this. Please. <laughs> Not today anyway. Off you go. Right. Again, it's about to break the balance, but again, when you break the balance, the partner's coming up. Once we get a said they're coming up. You notice the two entries. One, and he's coming from here, he's pulling up. Again, when I came in, I was doing that. Getting them up to that position. It's up there. As opposed to being there, it's difficult. So if you look a lot of the Japanese, and again, this is probably one of the most successful throws in international judo. It's in the top 10, and it's very effective. A lot of the times, they're in that position. You never see them in that position, okay? They're always in that. And again, from there, they're very solid in that position to start turning. Get your arms to the back and start lifting. So from there, we're up, there, there. So that's what you're looking for. Get them up, so you've got the posture, and you're sitting well, okay? And you start to rotate. And it's pretty much the same. Then if you start to drop onto the knees, it's the same principle. So again, from here, coming into the that position, up, lifting up. Again, the partner, you start to adjust your hips, you start to drop under. From here, drop, breaking it. And again, it's going to say dropping the tree. Okay. So you start to get comfortable when you turn in. So again, Partner, you're in. Up, there. Feel strong, so I can start to lift it. Okay? It's supposed to coming in and get counted. Again, from there, make it nice and tight, take the grip from here. And again, with the grip, from the, the sleeve. If you're pulling the partner, as you pull, you start to turn. Knuckles come up. Yeah? So again, it's an action where you're turning. The hand comes up, give the entry. If you're leaving it there, there's no entry. As soon as I turn, there. That's supposed to be there, yeah? Okay, off you go. Don't forget this time. Alright, you are gone with your partner. It's the edge. Okay, just put it to tip. Partner, throw them over. 